keep it to this. You know, rocking with CYPT. Podcast of the D with Claire and the crew. It's like my CTV. They be giving game out so much, you could take the same route. Especially if you take risk this YouTube, you make sense. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? You're listening to the CYPT podcast. It's the podcast of the strongest, fastest, most powerful print shop on this side of the Eastern Seaboard. Hello. I'm just Niles. It's your boy Boogie behind the camera. I'm your boy Clay. That's key. Also known as Fearless, I forgot that. Also known as Fearless Leader. And today we have with us an absolute godsend, in my opinion. Please let everyone know who you are and what you do. So I am Jasmine. I'm the owner of On Time DNA, a mobile DNA testing uh, business. Church. Mobile <laughs> church. I can't tell oh. you how much I hate going to the Penobscot building. It is the worst experience ever. Every time it's something crazy. Every time is is it, you just don't want to be there. There's no smiles. There's nothing happy about it. There's nothing discreet about it. It's a bunch of people. They take you through so much to go downstairs, to go upstairs, to go back downstairs. The lobster building is that where you, where you gotta go? Yeah, man. When you when when, when uh, someone got that case on you, you <laughs> that's where you, you knew did. exactly where to go. Oh like, no, I hate it. I'm one I, nine I, four I, seven I, two. I hate it. <laughs> I didn't even have no car there. I had to catch the bus there just to go through the worst part of my whole week. It so to have someone pull up, or 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 or, or for you to meet them somewhere a little more pleasant than you know the hustle and bustle of of downtown. Really, you are uh, a, a, a help. Uh, to the community, uh, our community, and that, and I uh, want to thank that you. aspect, right? Because my God, man! You so just typically, you, do you, you just go, don't know how bad it is. you get? You get something in the mail, like like a friend of the court paper, and man, and, somebody and, serve you something. You, serve you, something like, you you ain't even know. You just okay. you going about your day is perfectly fine, and then somebody in a suit walk up and ask who you are, and you lie and you say you're not home, and then they probably catch you somewhere else, and then like you forget their face, and it's like yeah, you know you. See you at the building. <laughs> and then you got to go there. And then, you know, I was, if, if you smoke, you're going to have a hard time because you can't bring your lighter in there. So, so they tell you where you got to go. They give you the address. They give you the address, but they don't tell you how to get there to you. It's a whole maze. You got to go in there. You got to go downstairs, take your shoes off, take it through the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. And they see you in the elevator upstairs and tell you you can't have no lighter in your pocket. So you got to go back downstairs, get your shoes on, take the lighter out. But do you hear how aggravating this oh sounds? And you ain't even did nothing yet. So how does that work? Like if you get the papers and they say you got to go to the Penobscot building, I said yeah. You you can we can come to you and be like, no, nah, I ain't going to the Penobscot building. I'm gonna call. I my, can do my own thing. I'm gonna call my own girl. Yeah, and she gonna do it. So absolutely. You, you you got all the credentials and everything uh, that you need for us to go to you instead of going out to the Penobscot building. I Penobscot do. building. I do. I'm certified. All of my tests are legal and admissible in court. So if you need it, need to use it for any legal purposes, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not only um, is it for paternity, but also other things like uh, in the legal field as well. Um, so there are some people who, uh, like, let's say immigration purposes. Um, you know, we have a, a huge immigrant population here in Michigan. And so uh, a part of the process. This is not a political podcast. <laughs> like Y'all know we're not, we're not about to get into none of that. <laughs> but a part of that process is proving kinship to the people that they're trying to bring over. You know, so let's say uh, you're already here and you're a legal immigrant and you want to bring over your children. So okay. part of that process is proving paternity. Okay. And so they can call us and we can do that DNA test for them to prove paternity. Now, to, to speed the process along. Has that grown in the recent years? The, for immigration? For, for immigration? Like, Absolutely. are you doing a lot more of those type of DNA testing? Um, no, I, I don't do a, a lot. I do uh, the, what we call it the daddy and me. So father and child. Okay. That's our most popular test. Wait, there, there's popularities to these tests? Well, that's the most requested. The daddy and me? It's yeah, it's called daddy and me. So it's just one father and one child. How many are there? The the test that we or is just too many to name? Um, the daddy and me, uh, there's another one where we can include the mother. We don't have to include the mother, but for some reason if she wants to be a part of the process, we can add her to the process. Um, then we have the avuncular where we test uh, the child against the aunt and uncle and see if there's any kinship. Uh, grandparentage test where we can test a grandparent and see if they're actually related to the child. 
sibling ship test. Grand grand? <laughs> grand grand. No, why, 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 grand, why are these people? Yeah, I'm just, go ahead. Why, 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 these ask, why would the mother need to be involved? Uh, she wouldn't. Okay, she wouldn't. in that, because we know it. That's the child's mom, right? Unless for some reason, let's say maybe there's an abandoned child and she's trying to prove kinship. Oh, okay. You know, she's, gotcha. she's coming back to try to claim the child, then we can do a DNA test mm, to prove makes it. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Why well, does grand grand want a, 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 D, a DNA test? No, grand grand sometimes, you know, they'll look at the kids and go, I don't think that's my son's child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have a test done. Let me yeah. see if he's related to me mm-hmm. <laughs> before they spend all the yeah. chips <laughs> on, 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 on that grandbaby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. want to know. Yeah, on yeah. on the on the mother side, the maternity, they know, so mm-hmm. they they go ahead on spend that money. But on the son side, they gotta make sure. Oh, I gotta ask. We gotta. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't quite look like you. I assume my aunties and uncles <laughs> the same. This is uh, the same reason grand grand with the test. I don't know. Mm-hmm. This baby don't. I, I I can see that you um you pull up to the the their home uh, to do these tests or how does that work? We don't do private residence, uh, so uh, most of the time we'll meet at maybe a coffee shop, Panera, or um, I'm not trying to endorse anybody, but uh, yeah. you know a Panera or Starbucks, something like that. Or you could have somebody that's like, listen, I got a thirty minute lunch break. Pull up to my job, do the test. So we don't always have to test all parties at the same time. Is so, it secretly? Like, is it discreet? Do you, or do you have a, a truck with your name on it? My truck does have a logo. Um, so I'm chilling at Starbucks, and all of a sudden, the on-time DNA truck mm-hmm. pulls up. And then I'm like, oh, that's me. You know, I usually walk in. I order me a drink. I get everything set up, and I wait for the person to come in. And God we, sin. We, we go from there. You hear that discreetness? <laughs> God sin. I don't, I don't walk in with any logos on me. So mm-hmm. once I'm in there, they don't really know who I am. It could just be for a business meeting. They don't really know. So what's the typical charge for something like that? So for the daddy and me, uh, one father, one child, the normal price is three seventy five. dollars Right now we are offering $75 off of your first paternity test or DNA test. Okay. It doesn't have to be the paternity test. Your first, first? DNA test. Mm-hmm. Are there repeat? If sometimes. <laughs> well, let's say we test the child against the father and he's not the father. And they, oh. decide, and, and they decide to come back again and test someone else. Okay. So. Does that happen quite frequently? Uh, no. No? No, no, no. Usually no. it's right on point. Sometimes. You are the father. <laughs> Sometimes. Not always. <laughs> okay. But there is a special for it. Is, uh, is it only a paternity? Do you guys do like the 23andMe uh thing or ancestry? Ancestry. We do offer that, but, um, it you know, we don't get a lot of requests for it. No. Most people are looking for the paternity test. So would you say percentage wise it's like ninety five percent people looking for the paternity test? Ninety nine percent, yeah. Ninety nine percent. Yes. And you and and you said the entire party doesn't have to be there because my entire party uh had to be there. Well, if for some reason the child isn't available the same day that the father is available, I can test you today and maybe the child's available tomorrow or on Friday. When, when when it goes into the lab, it has a case number attached to it. Oh, so okay. they'll know that, you know, this person is being tested against this person based off of that case number. So typically walk me through, like, what happens after you, what, how do you collect the DNA? So it's done with the swab of the mouth. So And that's the only these way. These long Q-tips. Yeah, mm-hmm. these long Q-tips. We swab your mouth. We do about four swabs, two in each cheek. And uh, put it in an envelope, seal it up, send it off to the lab. Okay, so that lab is what protects it, and because it can be some funny business going on. How it's, do you? It's sealed in front of you. It, it's sealed right in front of you. Okay. I put the tamper-proof tape on there, so it doesn't get open until it gets to the lab. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sometimes they tell you uh, not to eat something or or not to drink something. What can affect uh, the test? So um, I always tell people coffee. Um, cigarette smoking, things like that. Try to stop that at least two hours before. Coffee? Chat. Yeah. So sometimes um, you just never know. You don't want to do anything that's gonna that could possibly have your results come back as inconclusive because then we'll have to test you over again. Is that an extra charge? No. So I don't charge extra if we have to do it again. Uh, excuse me for being ignorant, uh-huh. but what does DNA stand for? It's a very long acronym. I can't even. <laughs> it's, it's a very long, very uh, long acronym. But your DNA is, is your makeup. It's, it's your genes. It's you know a combination of both parents. Um, 
And when they run your DNS to, DNA test, they are looking for markers um, within your genes that are uh, identical to okay. the person that you're being tested against. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. How, um, if I don't want the van to pull up, do, mm -hmm. is there another, if I need this to be 100% uh, discreet, which uh, most people do, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we really appreciate you walking in and grabbing the, the coffee. Is there another vehicle or is it or just the van always? No. Always so I, I have a location in Dearborn that we can meet at and also in Ferndale. Okay. So I, there are no brick and mortars, but you have different locations we could pull up to. So because I'm mobile, a lot of mobile businesses that don't have a brick and mortar, they have what's called a virtual address. So let's say a shared workspace. And I know that. Okay. A shared workspace. So I have this business address where all of my mail goes to. And if for some reason you want to meet in person, I can rent one of the offices there for the day or the hour so that we can meet and we can do your test. Sweet. Talk to me about uh, safety protocol. There's definitely has to be a lot going on with uh, DNA testing yeah. and different samples like that. So what all do you have to do to make sure that you're safe and that the people that we're testing are safe as well? So that's why we always meet in a public space. That's why I won't come to your home. There could be a domestic situation. You can tell me that there isn't one, but... I don't know for sure, and I don't want to put myself in that situation. You so, never had a in a no, no, okay. never right. had a situation. Sweet. It's always in a public space, um, you know. And, and a lot of people they always think negative when they think about DNA tests, but you can request a DNA test for anything. I uh, one case that I had, the father he didn't put his name on the birth certificate, but he wanted to add the child to his benefits. But in order to do so, he had to prove paternity. So we did a paternity test. Mm -hmm. He didn't question paternity. But for legal reasons, to add him to his different benefits, he had to prove paternity. So it's not always a negative situation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, about the, um, do you have to wear a mask now? I know that was a huge thing, especially like during the so you have yeah. to wear a mask. I, I, I choose to wear a mask. Yeah, you don't have to. Good. Okay, so the other person doesn't have to. No. no. Okay. No. So you do this alone or do you always have an assistant with you? I do this alone. Okay. I do this alone. Hold on, y'all take afterpay? We do. No. What's <laughs> for, for easy payments? Girl, listen. <laughs> I think you and me had this uh, conversation before when you had first come in about your love. It's just, where were you? Uh -huh. So how, how did this fall into your lap? How did you get into doing this? So I spent 20 years in corporate uh, human resources, healthcare administration is my background. Um, so, you know, I, I did background checks. I did the alcohol uh, test. I did the, the drug test, things like that, right? So um, I wanted to find something that could marry the two. Mm -hmm. um, I was interested in something in the healthcare field, but I didn't want to go back to school. Like I, I was done with college. And so I ended up coming across a young lady um, who was actually in the field. She had her own DNA testing business. Um, she told me a little bit about it and I just decided to dive in. And I took the certification course and I partnered with uh, a couple different labs um, on my website. You'll see DDC, but I'm actually partnered with about four different labs um, because there are some labs that specialize in, in certain things like immigration, um, immigration testing. So, uh, and yeah, I just kind of went from there. So does the lab get uh, a portion of your proceeds? Yes, or, or, the, lab, <laughs> the lab, yeah. Okay, They, okay, they charge fees. They charge fees, <laughs> yes. like, okay. So... <clears throat> That's interesting. She made us all like fees. Yeah. 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 So that's said, why yeah. I can see that. I'm, I'm like, I'm like 375. I'm about to switch careers. But no, yeah. that, that's, that's not the profit for me. Trust me. They, they definitely charge fees. Is this a, uh, uh, would you say this is a, a, a really popular field? Do you see a lot of. It is. A lot of people are getting into DNA testing. How. The, I, I know you said what your journey was, but if, if I would like to get into it, where would you tell me to start looking? So um, you can do a search on Google and you can find uh, even some of the, the well-known clinics. Uh, I think Quest may offer some, some sort of training or maybe they just offer the drug training. But there are different labs that you can reach out to and they may offer training. And this is a whole this is a whole class. How long does this take? It doesn't take long at all. Um, I think every company is different. It could be a one day, eight hour course, or it could be a one week course. It just depends on what you what you sign up for, what's required. And I'm just completely company. certified after that. You'll become certified. Yes. So how do you do most of your marketing, like to get customers? Well, how do you how do you do that? So um, a lot of times I will show up at businesses, leave my cards, 
Um, I do a lot of cold calling. I have my bandit signs that I put out <laughs> on the street corners. Um, I, I have another business, so I also solicit some of my clients. They like to take my, my cars to their jobs. Mm. Uh, I have a lot of clients that work at the plant. So <laughs> it's like, leave it in your lunchroom. <laughs> Um, I also work with a lot of nurses, people in, in the medical field. So, okay. yeah, they do a lot of the marketing for me as well. Yeah. That, so you started this in what, what year you started this? I started business? this year, the beginning of this year. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're still trying to build things up um, and get our name out there. Okay. You started this year? I started this year. Wow. Yes. I really thought you were at this for a while. The way you, you have, you're very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. <laughs> oh. Well, you have to be. You have to be. I'm still learning. There's still there's a lot to learn when it comes to DNA testing and and just being in this field. Um, you know, you can. There's a lot of different things. We're going to be adding the drug testing service um, real soon. We're expanding. So we're expanding. We're, we're expanding. We're expanding because the need is there. So, and we want to try to fulfill the need. The drug testing service. Those are also uh, uh, you can use those for court uh, as well, right? So usually, um, you, you could have a parent that may call you to do a drug test on their child. A um, parent, or, which one? Or, or an employer, or an employer. Um, a lot of companies like um, the truck driving, the truck company, trucking mm-hmm. companies, they have to do dr- they have to drug test their um, their drivers often. So you can get called in from them as well. What about drug testing for courts? The courts. Um, so the thing with working with the courts, they usually have someone that they're that they've contracted. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of hard to get in with them. But you could though. Yeah. But I'm, yeah. you're, once they open it up and they start to take bids, yeah. And definitely try to. Oh, what are the, the bids uh, to, to work become with a partner? Mm-hmm. They the call court, purple the today. I got to beat up. I got, <laughs> <laughs> they call <it> 13 <laughs> orange. <laughs> got, can you pull up to the house, please? <laughs> I don't feel like you, you Meet me at McDonald's in 30 minutes. <laughs> you got to get here quick. <laughs> Oh my uh, God! Yeah, that would be another godsend because yeah. no one likes getting up at six a.m. Oh, that would be the because yeah. what? Can you imagine? Man, you, that's what they I'm saying. But they would from the from the they beginning. They wouldn't make it that easy. Uh, would they? Would they make it that easy? That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. If it if I if it could be used in court and I don't have to get up at six a.m. Mm-hmm. to because my color got called. I, can I take the test that you gave me to my officer? It's possible if, if they'll if they'll allow it. Yes. I just gotta ask. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, usually they make you'll, you go to a specific sense. location. But if I don't, but that's that's what I'm saying. If this this service wasn't, they oh, do it uh, where they do to cut down on tampering. They gotta what? They cut down on tampering. Now. But don't you have a tamper seal? So yes, people so are we, geniuses. You, <laughs> they really are. People so are used geniuses. to it, the, the drug test used to be done with just urine, and so now they just passed the law uh, where they are now allowing the mouth swab. As a as a drug test. Why was why couldn't the mouth swab be done? They they just passed the law that allowed us to do that. I figure if the mouth swab is potent enough for DNA, it would have to be potent enough for anything else. Right. You used to have to just do a urine test for drug tests. Hair, no, just, just no. Mm-hmm. All right then. You can do well the hair test as well. So everybody has their own rules, right? So right. Um, it just depends on what they're willing to accept. A lot of companies they only did the, the drug test. I mean, I'm sorry, the urine test. So, so just starting out, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You wanna, uh, well, I was going to ask, what what difficulties do you foresee? I know that they're in the same field, but mm-hmm. they both have very different uh, outcomes, and I assume they have a lot of different things you have to do. Do you see difficulties uh, navigating the DNA, the mobile DNA testing, as well as the uh, mobile drug uh, testing uh, as one? No, or not necessarily. Is it because they're, so, they're, they're really similar? Very similar, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay, I just have to ask. How many clients do you think you do uh, a month? So, uh, since going back to school, it's kind of slowed up some, you know. People had to buy school clothes and things like that, supplies. Um, so, maybe about eight clients okay. a week. That's yeah. pretty good. That's oh, good. a week. Oh, a week. Yes. A week. Yeah, is that a month? <laughs> you got eight clients a week? Yeah. Sometimes. It, it just depends. Um, so, when you go on to book, we do uh, require a deposit. So, let's say uh, you book an appointment and if for some reason you don't have the money on the date that you, you wanted to come in. You may decide to move it to next month. That's fine. But, um, yeah, so it just depends. What is, is book exactly what it sounds like? The app where I can book mm-hmm. my appointment? Mm-hmm. Go on. You can read it, read the details regarding the test. Uh, if you're confused, you're unsure of what test you, you might need for your specific need, 
you can give us a call and we can run through them with you. Wait, what? What do you mean? Are you talking about the difference between like the grandma and the and the personal tests, or because they're all DNA tests, right? They're all DNA tests. Okay, so let's say you have this. this How do guy. I know what test I need? This. So, so again, you can call us and we can you can tell me your situation and I can tell you which one of our tests would, would fit your situation. So, oh, I, I had someone who um, she's like, I don't think my sister is my sister, but I don't want my I don't want whoa, her to whoa, know. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't, don't think want my her to sister know. is my sister. Yeah, I don't want her to know that um, that I'm, I'm running a DNA test on her. So we can do what's called a DNA analysis. So I'll take a swab of your mouth. Maybe you'll get me a straw that she drunk out of. No way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we can use that to sample the DNA against yours to see if you guys are related. Perfect. So, <laughs> wow. So a, a, and they never have to know. Yeah. What other things can like a what other things can you test DNA with uh, besides like a straw, fork, spoon, French mm-hmm. fry? So let's <laughs> say you think your person's being unfaithful. Okay. You can I can take a swab of your mouth. Let's say a pair of boxers. Your girl, she thinks you're cheating. She can get a pair of your boxers. I'll take a swab of her mouth. We'll have his boxers, which would have his DNA on it. And we'll test it to see if there's another DNA sample on his undergarments that doesn't match yours. She ain't notice he walked so. out with a pair of boxes. <laughs> oh, a pair of boxes. So you you can do that. So that's called an infidelity test. So uh, that there is an infidelity in test of in that one. Three a.m. in the morning. <laughs> we thought you. Yes. And you thought you. <laughs> we thought you cleaned up real good. <laughs> test for that. Oh my God! How long do the uh, test results? How long does it take to get the results back? So usually within seventy two hours, but honestly, we get most of them within uh, forty eight hours. Now, does that happen a lot? Do you get those infidelity test requests? No. I no no no. Not until I've had, today. I've had a few inquiries. Until, yes. and, and now they know about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, do they know? Is that on the the flyers uh, that, that that we did? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had to so. put, I had to put that on there. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no? Yeah. Well, we got to add that. We got to add that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Because that's, uh, that's going to be your number one. 48 seller. hours? 48 hours you can find out. Or that's quick. like a, yeah. that's almost like a lie detector test. Mm-hmm. Like, where was you at? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got hardcore proof. And, this, and, and I know it's DNA. I know it sounds dumb. It's always 100% right. Like a, a DNA is always 100%. 99.99 yeah. nine, 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 yes. nine, we, we If you guys used to watch the Mari show, we use the same lab that they use on there for their paternity tests. So DDC. You are a mobile Mari. <laughs> Jesus hey, Christ. So, you yes. know what? I yes. just thought of this ingenious idea. We can just bring the camera crew. Yeah. <laughs> you would... <laughs> We can blow you up. You oh, that would, would be, go yeah. crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be uh, yeah. What what are the tests are? There's an infidelity test. What other tests are there? Um like what's the top three that you do? DNA, uh patern- the paternity test, like I said, the daddy and me. And um the grand the grandparentage would be number two. Grand grand. And then, so we also do um, we also do gender reveals. So that's another a very popular test. That's got to be huge. <laughs> yes. So we also have the maternity test. So let's say someone's pregnant, they want to find out who the father is before they give birth. We can test them to to find out who the father is. Find out who the father is. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's it's a DNA prior to birth. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a DNA test on the mom. We do an extraction of her blood. I'm like, how? Yeah. I'm trying to think in my head at first. How does that? That's what everyone's trying to figure out. How, how does it go? So, but that has to be done through blood. It has to be a blood test. <laughs> you gotta get a mic. Get a mic. Can hear you. A woman that don't know who to follow. Oh no. Yes, it happens. It happens more often than you know. You yeah. said it's a pretest oh. while she's pregnant. If she wants to find out who the father is before she gives birth, we can do. How do you? You don't have to get oh. his DNA. It'll just. It'll well, we're gonna test it against whoever she thinks the father if is, she, or if there's multiple guys, then we'll take a sample from all of them. 
in some cases, if she doesn't know who the father is, Mm -hmm. could that be a possible case for rape? Not necessarily. Because she could have been under the influence or been... Well, no, not necessarily. She she just she spent time with several different people within that time span. Can I re- and she's just unsure of. Can I refuse? The father. Well, what I'm saying is that if the, if she if if be, because someone has to come and tell me, hey, I need you to take a DNA test. Yes, she can refuse. I can refuse. Ooh, okay, yeah. and there's no. Yeah. But she can go to court and they can force That's, it. that's what I'm asking say, about. Court appointment. <laughs> yes. You would have to do it. Mine, yeah. My stuff is voluntary. Okay. Yeah, we can't force you to do anything. But the courts can definitely force you to take a DNA test. That's where the Penobscot building mm-hmm. come in. Mm-hmm. Tell me about, uh, it says here, uh, you offer a notary service? Yeah, I do. Yes, I've been a notary for 12 years. Does that have any connection with the DNA testing, or you just been a notary for uh, twelve I've years? I've just been a, a notary for twelve years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, again, so you just do the, everything with the immigration paper. I trust me, if you do my whole background, <laughs> <laughs> you do everything. <laughs> um, sometimes with the DNA paperwork, they do need uh, some documents notarized. But you know, if you need something notarized while you're getting a DNA test, I got you. So is this by appointment only? So if I see you walking, like. Or- Pull up at the McDonald's and I see your truck and I say, "Hey, I'm with my." If you see me at McDonald's and I have everything that I need, so do you have everything that you need? I don't always drive around. If it's my off day and I don't have any appointments, sometimes I won't have uh, my testing kit with me. But if for some reason I do, I pull up and you're like, "Hey, can we do this right now?" I'll have you hop online, pay the fees, get a case number from my lab, and we'll go from there. Perfect. (laughs) <laughs> this is really more I, I, it's, I can't over, uh, say how convenient this is is there any other convenient ways that they do DNA testing besides what you do I do you do ancestry so. we do we offer ancestry okay. I, I haven't done one yet just because no one's requested it but we do offer it same process swab okay. of the mouth yeah and has AI affected your business in a good way since it started? Um, I don't think so. No, not yet. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. No, it's been, yeah, a lot of marketing on my part, like I said. Yeah. Speaking of marketing, what, uh, are you ever going to move to more than one vehicle? Do you plan on bringing anybody else on? That is my goal, yes. When the demand is there, absolutely. I, I, I feel like it is. <laughs> I feel like yeah. that. I feel, I feel like it is. I yeah. feel like that demand is there. I, Definitely. Definitely. Uh, man. <laughs> no, for, for, for real. For mm-hmm. real. For real. What, uh, what's like the craziest uh, case you've had? We get memorable things. We, we get memorable you know, orders here. I can't say I've had any crazy cases. Well, okay, so one of my peers, um, <laughs> they had to go to uh, a county jail. To do a, a DNA test on someone. Straight up. Yes. <laughs> so uh, he had his cellmate. This is kind of gross, y'all. He had his cellmate spit in his mouth. So when they did the swab, it didn't show that he was the father. Genius. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> you swindling. I don't want to give them any Genius. ideas, but. <laughs> Too late. It's already out there. He did it. Yeah. How, that, that's, how, that's how, crazy. how was that discovered? He showed the whole cell block. How he's done. I'm how did they sure. discover that? That's I'm not like sure that. how they found that's out. Superhero. This was just the situation oh, wait. that she encountered. Oh, you said they found yeah. out, so they knew that it was. It, it, mm-hmm. They knew something was wrong. Maybe they had him retest after he got out, or you know, they had them go back and do it again. I'm not sure. Or maybe she knew for sure. Like, no, he's the only person I was with. Uh-uh, it, it had uh-uh, to be. Uh-uh. It was negative. No, it, <laughs> it wasn't can't, conclusive. Yeah, it, it was negative. Like, do it, do it again. Oh, you want to come back? It was negative. He should. He should have got scot free. I, I didn't hurt at all now. Yeah. Genius. That, that's the crazy situation like, I've ever heard like, of. Yeah. People think of some cl- clever stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was clever. Spit my mouth. <laughs> that's how you survive. Uh, <laughs> going you down survive. there with it in the front of his mouth. Oh. 
what would you say is the most common misconception people have on DNA testing? Why why would someone not call? What would a fear be that they have? What are some um, concerns that you've heard from customers or from, from people with appointments? I think so. I, I get a lot of calls from young men. Um, and you can hear the nervousness in their voice, mm, right? I'm, I'm sure. You have to prepare yourself mentally sometimes too, right? Because he's looking at this child and he's just not sure. And so they're, they're scared sometimes. Sometimes they want to know, but they don't want to know, right? This, this I've, I've fallen in love be. with this child. What if it isn't mine? Um, so a lot of times you will get calls and people are just inquiring. Um, they're nervous. They're afraid. Um, and so, you know, you, you just try to make them as comfortable as possible and walk them through the process. But um, I think for me, just allowing people to let them know that they're, you know, they're, there's no judgment, you know, when it comes to doing, at least when you come to me, there's no judgment. Um, even, even with the women, if we have to test multiple fathers, you know, you should know, and the child should know who their father is. But um, I think just getting those phone calls from, from those young men, young men and, and hearing that nervousness in their voice. Has been so like what's the youngest, system. youngest you've tested and can a, can a very young male, yes. 12, 13, call you discreetly and get a test done? The youngest uh, was 13 days old. I had to test him against his father. Um, I no no. What I'm, ta- be- I'm talking about like a young man. I don't oh, need no. my parents like, to know I'm getting this test. Be, yeah. Yeah. No, you have to be at least eighteen. Got to call be. Yeah. Now, can me as a parent mm-hmm. take my child and? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What if that child says no? Then I can't do it. I can't force them to do it. So the child has. He's going to take that whooping when he gets Straight home. up. He's going to the take child that can say no. Yeah, I can't force him to do it. <clears throat> it's my Dana. So can I, as a parent, take my son's DNA to find out if he's the father you of can, a. You, you, that's you, tricky. You can. You can, but it's I won't deceptive. be. It won't be legal. Deceptive. It's not going to hold up no. in court? No. That's, no. It's, it's, that's what we call a peace of mind test. No, it's not going to hold up in a court. A peace of mind somebody oh. like Somebody like me who is certified and who has taken those extra steps. So the difference between a legal and um, just a peace of mind test is I have to certify that I confirmed who you are. I legally confirmed who you are through identification. And I was the one that took those samples, right? And I sent it off to the lab. You can do a test all day at home, but you can't take those results to court. They won't use it. They're going to make you take another DNA test. Mm, okay. You, you could have tampered with that. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Deceptive. How uh, uh, far are you willing to drive? Um, I will go up to 40 miles. Anything after that is an extra charge, or it's just forty miles Not, in the cutoff. I will say maybe I'll go a little bit further. It just depends on the situation and where I'm going. <laughs> so, <laughs> 40, <laughs> forty miles. <laughs> so basically, from here to Romulus, uh, a little maybe a little bit past. Maybe, maybe. I'll, I mean, I'll, area. slightly past the airport type range. Yeah, it 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 depends. It depends. Yeah. We can talk. We can talk about it. How long does it take? What five seconds, and you're out. You're done. Not like, long at all. I schedule you for thirty minutes. Oh, it's thirty. Um, okay, but it doesn't take thirty minutes 30. to do the test. Okay, filling out paperwork is. That sounds through. like the rest of it. Paperwork mm-hmm. and ID and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. And calming you down. And take not a picture. Nervous. You have to take a picture. We have to send a picture in. You so, do because yeah if, yeah. if you get yeah. if we get called to court, they may call me to court. Have you and ever I been have to go in. I haven't. I haven't been called to court. But me taking that picture, me checking your ID, and me completing that paperwork mm-hmm. is that's right. So they may call me to court and ask me, "Hey, did you see this person? Was this who you know you you showed up to test on that day?" And I have to be able to attest to that. Okay. Yeah. Thirty minute increments. I was going to ask how you plan out your day when you're. Uh, how do you plan it? On, but. It's, the thirty minute thing, so it's pretty, mm-hmm. pretty. Uh, I need you to let everyone know how they can get in touch with you, and what is your is there a website that we can yes. go on? Yes, uh, ontimedna.com. That's our website. They can find us on Instagram and on Facebook um, at ontimedna. 
and I can choose any of the uh, any of the testings on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. There's a the phone number to call. Seven three four two eight zero three one one zero. There you have it. I, um, just one more time. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. For your service <laughs> to the community, I'm so I am so serious. It is needed. Mm-hmm. I know you know that because yes. of the people who you talk to every day and the situations that you see. It is needed. Yes. You are mm-hmm. absolutely a godsend. And if they haven't told you, if anyone has told you, it, it is appreciated mm-hmm. much. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And if through uh, October 31st, um, if anyone does a DNA test, we will give them an additional $25 off if they use you guys' code, your initial CYPT, um, right. when they are booking their appointment. So a hundred dollars off your first DNA test. Y'all heard it. The first affiliate. <laughs> oh, DNA test. <laughs> you have just listened to the Can You Picture This podcast? The podcast for the strongest, fastest, most powerful T-shirt slash print shop on this side of the Eastern Seaboard. You can catch us in the heart of Detroit, Greenfield, and Grand River Monday through Saturday, ten a.m. to seven p.m. Our address is 14223 Greenfield Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48227. Our phone number is 313-273-5000.